Hey YouTube! Today I wanted to do a video about this guy. This is my Hughes and Kettner Tube Meister 36 tube amplifier. It looks fantastic. It sounds fantastic. You may have seen it in some of the other videos just in the background. I wanted to do a proper video going over everything that this amp has to offer and showing you some of the different sounds that it can make uh, in and of itself. It's got a super blue color when it turns on and it's a fine quality amplifier. I highly recommend it. Let's get into some of the details. The Hughes and Kettner Tube Meister 36 is a 36 watt all tube amplifier. It comes with four EL84 tubes and three 12AX7 preamp tubes. There are three channels on the amplifier. There's clean, there's crunch, and there's lead. The crunch and lead channels share an EQ, whereas the clean channel has its own independent EQ. Each EQ has three knobs of treble, mid, and bass. On the front side, there's obviously a power switch, a standby switch, and a single input. The amplifier is clear, it's transparent, so you can actually see the tubes inside of it. I think that's one of its coolest features visually, and it lights up a type of neon blue, which again gives it a very unique particular look that Hughes and Kettner has seemed to pioneer and makes their amplifier stand out. Today we're going to be running it into an MPEG 1x12 guitar cabinet loaded with a Celestian Vintage 30. <laughs> You have two jacks for foot switches. I use the channel switch myself. The amp came with a two channel foot switch, um, which is generally clean. When you press number one button, you engage the crunch channel. And while that's on, when you press two, you can engage the lead channel. If you want to go straight from a clean tone to the lead channel, just leave button two engaged. It'll glow red and then turn one on and off in order to achieve clean to leads. If you plug the foot switch into the effects port rather than the channels port, it allows you to switch the reverb on and off and the second switch allows you to disable the effects loop or turn it on as well. There is an effects loop send and return, so if you want to run effects in your pedal board after the distortion, you can use that and it has an on, on, on and off switch as well. The reverb is a digital spring reverb and it can turn on and off as well. There's a button for that. <laughs> On the back of the amplifier, there is a MIDI 
connection where you can get a MIDI foot switch to control which channel you want to be delivered at what level of wattage so you could have your clean channel at all 36 watts and get the most amount of headroom out of it and use a lower wattage setting for distortion so you don't have to turn the amp up as loud. <laughs> There's also something called a red box, which is a, a DI out, and it's an XLR balance signal. It is designed for late night recording, or if you just don't want the amplifier uh, on through the speaker, and you just want to line it out straight into your board. Here is the sound of a Stratocaster played through the amplifier as compared to it being red boxed or DI'd out of the amplifier. <laughs> Amplifier obviously runs at 36 watts because that's what it is, but it can be dropped down to 18 watts to 5 watts, which is what we're running it at today and which is what I use live, to 1 watt, and you can simply mute out the speaker altogether and not use it and use the red box if you want. There's a single output jack connecting to your speaker that can run an 8 to 16 ohms speaker, so as long as you're not running a 4 ohm speaker, you should be good. And one of the coolest aspects to this amplifier is the TSC feature, which has an automatic tube biasing feature. So you don't need to bias these tubes when you change them. You simply can put them in and the amplifier will do the biasing for you. Uh, there are four red lights on the back to correspond with each of the power tubes. If one of them fails, the light will indicate which one it is, which is an awesome feature too. And extra super cool is if you're playing live and one of them starts to fail, the amp will redirect power to the other ones that are working and simply balance the power out that way so you can get through the gig and not have some kind of dirty, messy, broken up tube uh, ruining your sound. <laughs> The 
Amplifier comes with a soft carrying case, as this is uh, what's called a lunchbox style amplifier. I've taken the case and the amp to gigs now, and the case works just fine. It's super easy to cart around. The amp weighs 7.7 .7 kilograms. Regarding the tone of the amplifier, it's often referred to as what's called hi-fi, which is a very modern, very bright, very clear, really nice sparkly kind of tone. Obviously, you can control the tone knob on your guitar or the EQs on the amp to achieve the sound you're after and utilize pedals as well. Be aware that this amplifier says on the back, designed and engineered in Germany, manufactured in PRC, which is the People's Republic of China. So Hughes and Kettner is a German company, but for these smaller amps, just like Marshall and Orange and some of the other companies, they're outsourcing it to China. Still, the specs for everything are German engineered, and this thing is built like a tank and works excellently. <laughs> Thank you.